Hi, this is Jack Peters from CTC. I thought we'd take a couple minutes today to talk about accelerometer uh, durability. Uh, this is sometimes a uh, hard thing to show. Uh, we like to all talk about durability or reliability in our accelerometers, but to actually show it can be a challenge sometimes. So let's see what I can do today to convince you that uh, CTC accelerometers are very durable. I've got an accelerometer mounted on a shaker table. And we're generating a 100 hertz frequency at 1G. So I have the time wave here. And down here I have the FFT. And you can see I have a nice clean frequency at 100 hertz, 1G peak. So the sensor looks pretty good. We've got a uh, nice uh, presentation here. Uh, we seem to be operating fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that uh, sensor off the uh, shaker table and kind of put it through a task that hopefully none of you will ever have to do. So let me get this sensor. We'll pull this off of here. All right, got the sensor. I'm going to put a mounting pad on the bottom of the sensor. And this is a flat mounting pad that you normally would epoxy on. It gives me a good surface there. And then I have a uh, hammer here that's been modified to accept the accelerometer. So I can screw this accelerometer right into my hammer. All right. I'm going to take a couple nails. And down here on the floor, I've got a 2x4. And I'm going to nail that to the 4x4 that's underneath it. I'm going to use that uh, accelerometer as my hammerhead. So I'll try to do this so I don't hit my fingers. All right, we got that end done. We'll move down here and we'll put one in the other end just so we can secure this 2x4. Whoa. Well, you got to be a better carpenter than I am. That was terrible. But we've hammered in two nails with our accelerometer. And we'll take that back off of our hammer there. Remove our mounting pad. And we'll put it back on our shaker table. There we go. Connect our cable. and apply power to our shaker table. And sure enough, you can see that our accelerometer comes back up showing a 1G peak-to-peak -peak time waveform and a 1G peak uh, FFT. So in this case, uh, the durability sensor is uh, very good. We're able to drive in at least one and a half nails with it. And uh, you can see that this CTC accelerometer should last a lifetime, and it has an unconditional lifetime warranty on it. So for your future needs, connect to confidence with CTC. Thank you.